Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got a Chanel unboxing and I'm sure you could tell from the thumbnail that it is going to be from the recent limited edition collection. And this is the box that it came in. I'm going to open it up with you guys, show you what I got. I think you can tell by the size of the box which items I chose. I actually chose a few gifts for friends and I also picked up an extra one for my giveaway. So stay tuned to hear all about that. This is the little pouch that says Chanel on it. It's always black with black for the samples that you choose on their website. So I got two little creams from the Le Lift line, which I think will be great for travel since they're miniature size. And by the way, whenever you order and you get samples and you get a pouch like this, do not throw these pouches away. They're great to just put your little bits and bobs. And also I use these for my feminine hygiene products. So I put them in here close it up it's super discreet I also do this for my daughter because she's 13 now and I put this in her backpack and we just plop it in the bags and it's just a really great size for that so just want to give you that little tip and here we go we're going inside the tissue paper and voila four of the double-sided mirrors these are classic but they come in the limited edition colors so you can see the names of the colors here i picked up four i probably would have picked up more if i could have the other colors were all sold out so i announced that this was dropping and I announced it on my YouTube community page as well as my Instagram so that you guys would be one of the first to know about it and so you can go on and grab your favorite color if you were interested because these sell out really fast. All the limited edition items sell out really fast. These sold out within like 24 to 48 hours, both online and in the boutiques. But then after I posted and I announced this, I had to step out for a few hours to just take care of some stuff. When I came back to order for myself, half the colors were gone. So yes, uh, nine colors in total. They're just beautiful, something for everyone. And each one $45. Originally it was listed as $42. And that was the original price for the classic black one, which I have and I'll show you in a minute. But then I think after a day or two, they all jumped, not jumped, it's not a huge price increase, but they did go up to $45 um, all across the board. So let's get into these here. This one is the first one. I'm going to pop it open. And here is the official name of the color. This is the, oh gosh, I cannot do French pronunciation. Incendiare, I don't know. Doesn't sound French at all when I say it. It's the bright pop of red it's like an orangey red so this is what it looks like you've got double-sided mirror and one is regular and the other is magnifying and i have to tell you because i've owned the classic black one for a few years don't underestimate the quality of the actual mirror on the inside i know everyone buys these for the sort of plasticky enamel chanel branded cover but the actual mirror is really super clear, really high quality. You can see every tiny little blemish and nook and cranny on your face, which is probably not a good thing, but it's really clear. Also, I think the website does a bit of a disservice because they never show the packaging. This is the little pouch or dust bag that each mirror comes with. And so it's black velvet and it's got the CC right there with a little circle so it's very very discreet and nicely done and it fits right in here and also with these because they're quite shiny they do get fingerprints so i've always used the pouch to wipe it down which works perfectly so i kind of think they should put this on the website a photo of this because if you're gifting this and you see that it comes as a nice little set like this it's much more compelling than if you just think that you're going to get just a mirror, right? So I'll put that there. It's a really, really pretty, pretty pop of color. Bring it closer here. Okay, and then this one, I'm not even gonna bother trying to say the name. If you are familiar with all of the names from studying this limited edition collection, then you'll know which one this is, but if not, I'll show you. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is like a dark navy. And it is super sleek, my goodness. It doesn't have that much of a contrast. So if you're looking for a contrast with the CC, it kind of blends, the black blends in with the navy. But look at it against the pouch. This is a true navy and this is a black. So it's definitely, it's coming off as black, but it's not. It's, it's a dark, very, very like chic 
navy. I think it's gorgeous. I will say though, I think that if they put the white CC on all of these, it would have looked really nice because let me show you the classic black one that I have and I'll compare it with the navy. So this is my old one. I've had it for years. And you can see it has the black and then it has the CC in white, which I think is a really nice contrast. And I'll show you the navy next to the black. You can definitely tell there is a color difference there, right? It's very, very, I mean, it's a very sleek looking, I like this one. But I think the white has a nice, like, clean contrast look to it. So that's one thing I would have preferred, but that's a small little... Uh, personal preference and then I've got another one here and this is the Rouge Noir oh I'm curious about this one I was very this is the color I was most curious about seeing in person oh my gosh okay here 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 whoa it's very dark okay so this is basically like a dark burgundy almost like a deep wine color and then again it has the black CC it's again very very sleek very chic looking doesn't have much of that contrast like this is more of like a pop it's kind of fun and playful this is more i don't know it just looks a little bit mysterious almost um i really like it and I actually it reminds me of chocolate like delicious luxurious chocolate i don't know something about it isn't it so let's see these two side by side the navy and I'm going to call it the burgundy, even though that, these are not the formal names. So let's put those here. Wow, this one really stands out against the other ones. So this one is the Ovni, which again, you'll know the color if you're familiar. Let's see. Oh my gosh, so cute. So this is basically like a pale yellow it's kind of like a lime yellow that's how I would describe it I feel like it has slight slight hint of lime in there and it's not like a super saturated bright kind of like chick yellow like sunshine yellow but it's so cheerful and so happy it's a happy color I think this is like a bold color this is a cheerful color these are kind of like chic and sort of sexy and mysterious i don't know that's how i describe them now there are colors that i didn't get there was this beautiful sage green tone and i know some of you picked this one up there was also the diva color which was the first color that caught my eye but it was sold out by the time i went to buy it and i also considered it in the brush set but that too sold out right away and then of course there was the fastest selling ballerina pink one i feel like everybody is obsessed with pink these days especially with the barbie movie coming out it's a really pretty kind of soft pastel pink and it's named ballerina i'm gonna show you so here's my vanity case that holds all of my nail polishes how dare i show hermes in a chanel video <laughs> but this is an upcycled dust bag that was created to be a vanity and i have a promo code if you want to shop I don't know how you feel about using a, an upcycled dust bag into these products, but it's really cool. So this is the color. It's ballerina pink. See, it says ballerina right there. It looks super pale, so I was wondering if the color of the mirror would be also very pale. I think based on the photos that I've seen, it's more saturated, more pink. I have it on right now. It looks kind of just like cream. It's very, very subdued. I really like sort of a saturated pink, like a true Barbie pink, or even that hot fuchsia pink, which was the diva color. But I wasn't able to get my hands on that. And there was a gorgeous little lilac purpley color, which was really pretty. I know some of you picked that up as well. And then there was an orangey color that's very similar to this, but it's more orange, kind of has like peach undertones to it. So those were the other five that I did not pick up. So let's talk about the giveaway. This pale yellow ovni color, I am keeping it. Uh, it is my favorite of the bunch, but the other three colors are up for grabs. So 
I'm going to ask you to make sure you are subscribed to my channel, like this video by giving it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in order to enter the giveaway. The comment can be simple, but just make sure that you name the color of your choice, whether it be the bright red one, the dark navy one, or the burgundy one. Okay, and please check my description box above to get all the giveaway rules because I want to make sure you don't use certain words that will get your comments deleted or attract scammers and bots and impersonators. That has been a problem with my recent giveaways. All right, thanks so much for watching. Good luck to all of you who are going to enter and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.